Okay, so here's the current signal levels sitting at about minus 75 and here's the mag loop antenna. So you can see it's kind of a gray dreary day outside right now and the loop is oriented vertically. I'm gonna try to reorient that and see if I can improve the signal levels. Victor Echo 6 Whiskey Golf Mic. Thank you. You are about 5'5 five five into Alberta. So this is WWV on the AirSpy Discovery HF Plus. I'm using my full-length 80-40 meter fan dipole with a uh, feed point height of about 35 to 38 feet. We're seeing a signal of about minus 50 and it's varying a little bit depending on the fade. Sitting at minus 40 right now. We're going to plug in the MLA30 plus mag loop antenna and we're going to compare the received signal strengths. Okay, so this is my fan dipole and this is the mag loop antenna. And as you can see, I've got the uh, power injector, it's powered up using the USB. And uh, this heads outside where I have the dipole oriented in a vertical manner. And here's the signals that we're seeing. We'll just wait for the fade to do its thing and we'll kind of take a look at the average signal levels but right now I'm seeing minus 85 to minus 80. Looking like that's about all we're going to get. So this orientation that I have seems to have been about the best. Okay, we're back inside again after trying to optimize the orientation of the loop antenna. Didn't really get anything more out of it, so I put it back to the way it was. And uh, we're going to switch back over to the 80 meter dipole again and just take a look at where it's at. Okay, well there's quite a bit more signal there, but I think the noise floor is also quite a bit higher. So I suppose the question is, is what's the difference in the signal to noise ratio? Um, if we've got an equal amount of signal over the noise and it's just shifted up or down between, you know, as comparing the mag loop to the dipole, then that doesn't really show that the dipole is any better. It just means that it's got more of everything. Okay, so right now we're seeing about a minus 70, minus 75 over a noise floor of minus 105 on the dipole. And it's just the propagation's come up again. Minus 65 over a 105 noise floor. I'm gonna switch back over to the mag loop and see what it looks like. Okay, we're back on the mag loop. And I see minus 85 over a minus 105, minus 110 noise floor. Okay, so I'm going to leave the camera set up here. Right now we're looking at the mag loop antenna and I'm going to switch back and forth quickly so you can see um, the propagation is varying and um, quite quickly. So we're going to try and get an, a little bit better comparison. There's the dipole antenna. This is back to the mag loop again. So there is a definite difference. It's not a huge difference um, signal to noise wise, but if it is, you know, like a 5 dB difference in signal to noise where the dipole antenna is um, got the 5 dB advantage, uh, as you can tell, it makes a difference you know, as to whether or not you're going to be able to make someone out or not. 
So right now I can make nothing out of WWV, and if I switch back over to the dipole antenna, I am now able to copy the signals. And we'll switch back over to the mag loop again. So that's the mag loop, and again, back to the dipole. So I suppose if you have no space, to be realistic, the Magloop antenna is pretty amazing for what it is. Um, it takes up very little space and it actually does work. But uh, you can look at, these are the numbers that I calculated here, just rough guesses. The mag looks like about 25 dB um, signal to noise and the dipole looks about 30. And that 5 dB seems to make quite, you know, well, it makes all the difference because I can copy this with the mag loop, I cannot. Now, if I wanted to be a little more extensive in my testing, I could go and try different frequencies and see, you know, if if there's a difference there. But generally, after having used the mag loop antenna for a little while, from 80 meters and 40 meters and 20 meters, um, I'm gonna say that I'm pretty convinced that the dipole antenna does pull more signals in. It's, it gives a higher signal to noise ratio. And uh, yeah, so the mag loop works if you've got no space and you just want to throw something up there and um, orient that mag loop so that it might, you know, my idea was to try it to, to uh, minimize the amount of noise in the neighborhood that I was picking up. And it does work for that. But again, the signal to noise ratio just isn't there and it's just not doing what I wanted as far as trying to be able to receive signals through the noise of the village that I live in. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to have to try another uh, experiment and I think where I'm going to go is I'm going to try and order a, uh, an X-phase unit which takes two antennas and you adjust the phase between the two to cancel out local noise, QRM. Alright, so that's all I got for you for right now. We'll talk to you later. 7-3, Victor Echo 6, Whiskey Golf Mike.